Remember, if you're in a decreased energy state, meaning you're not eating as much as you're burning, you're not going to have the strength that you need to work on lifting max loads. Save that for when you're surplus or eating around maintenance. I developed habits lately I've been trying to break And them battles in my mind, they still keep me up late So I see you sleeping on me when you should have been awake Hope you die in your sleep, I'll start a fire at your wake I'ma see this through and I don't care how long it takes Now everything changed when I decide Yo, what's going on YouTube? You're back with the prayers. Listen, we're in Juniper Park today. I'm bringing you another upper body workout today. Today's predominantly going to be chest and back focused, weighted, superset style. Like I told you guys, I've been increasing the intensity of the workouts by adding more superset training, right? Antagonist muscle groups to increase the overall burn of the workout. Remember, I'm not out here trying to PR. I'm working more volume now, working at slightly lower intensities, meaning weight. But again, I'm increasing the overall intensity of the training by supersetting every exercise. Now we're warming up today with some handstand work just to get everything flowing, moving, and uh, keep the skill consistent in the training. I've been getting really good progress with the handstands lately, doing a ton of weighted reps. So just to keep the movement fresh, we're gonna hit it before we get into the chest and back work today. I'll see you at set one. All right guys, we did three handstand push-up sets. Again, just to keep the movement fresh, warm up the pressing muscles, warm up the shoulders. Now we're going to get into our weighted work. Again, I did a few more warm-up sets of dips, body weight. Then I do the 50-pound kettlebell on, did a few reps, a few sets of dead hang with the weight. Now, working sets, guys. I got the 50 and the 60 out, so 110 pounds total. I'm going to be doing 110-pound dips, aiming for six to eight reps each set, supersetting with 50-pound weighted pull, three-bar neutral grip. So 60 plus 50 on the, weight, on the dips, 110. Dropping a 50 for the pulls. Again, I was going to do this whole uh, workout unedited. I was going to film it all straight through without taking breaks. But again, the camera's going to die. So I'm going to be taking two minute breaks in between each set. You're not going to see the breaks. But four rounds total. Let's go. So we got the 60 and the 50 strapped on. We were hitting 90 for eight easy the other day with no break period, super saiyan with legs, so let's see what we're getting with 110 today. Drop the 60, keeping the 50 on. I don't know how many pulls we're gonna be aiming for. Let's say three to six. All right, set one, six on the dips, six on the pulls. We're gonna try to keep it six, six for the total four sets. Let's go. I'm rolling the dice, they end up rolling away. Yeah. And I bet it all, let the chips fall where they may. Yeah. This shit is a gamble. Losing, look where it could land you. Yeah. And I bet it all, uh. let the chips fall where they may. Not much for me to really go outside for World getting colder, I've been trying to stay inside more Most people have something that they live for But not many have something they would die for Look, I took the hand I was dealt And made it work all by myself They do it all for the sales, but they never sell Portraying an image you already failed Packed all my bags and I'm about to head out Revenge on my mind, no, it's bad for my health I made a plan and yet I had my doubts Cause these rappers these days make a name chasing clout Come in the vase, show me back when I jump on 
the stage and kill shit like I had something to say See me now when they running away Posting more pictures than music and now they think they running the game Hell nah Not on my watch Not on my clock Ticking time bomb Waiting till the time stops I'm 50 yo Alright guys Four sets of the weighted work done We hit six dips every set 110 pounds Six pulls every set With the 50 I didn't do any drop sets No back off sets Just four sets Two minute break in between each round. Now we're gonna get into some more power or explosive training, right? Well, one's gonna be power and explosive, one's gonna be more isometric. So I'm gonna be doing band resisted, straight bar dips, and we're gonna superset that with chin over the bar, isometric holds. Remember, I'm just getting back to doing pronated pull ups. I was using band for assistance just to decrease my overall body weight intensity the last couple weeks. Now I'm back to doing, again, straight up body weight pulls. I'm feeling a lot less pain in the elbow lately. I've been training very smart guys, not trying to overdo it, trying to keep the elbows healthy. So, band resisted straight bar dips, aiming for 12 to 15. And then again, superset with chin over the bar, pull up hold, 10 to 20 seconds each set. So, look, all you guys need for this is a resistance band. Set it up over our neck. So, over your neck, thumbs down for the straight bar dips. 12 to 15. Remember, at top, you're gonna feel the most Resistance from the band is going to really help you build that explosive strength and more power. And you want to make sure you're getting full lockout every rep with the band because that's where you're going to feel the most tension. And then right into body weight, chin over the bar holds. So 15 second hold, 15 reps. We're gonna do three sets of this, keeping the breaks 90 seconds to two minutes tops. Let's get it. Three, I'm the nine shots on the ground now. How you gonna kick a man? Murder the industry, the glove doesn't fit the hand. Burden too heavy, you see these people ain't fit to have. Now they think they popping only winning on Instagram. Whoa. Same story, different day. Got me thinking about doing shit a different way. And if you knew the conditions I was living in, you wouldn't be acting like you got a ton of shit to say. Every record I make is a roll of the dice. Tag on my head and they naming they price. Ain't playing it right. See me risking my soul just to gamble my life. Rolling the dice, they end up rolling away. Yeah. And I bet it all, let the chips fall where they may. Yeah. This shit is a gamble. Losing, look where it could land you. Yeah. I bet it all, let the chips fall where they may. Yeah. Take a risk, I may lose in the end. Gave my blood, sweat, and tears, I'ma do it again. Take the mask off, show them all who I really am. Alright, guys, three rounds of the straight bar dips, super setting with the chin over the bar holds. Done. We kept it real quick there, guys. 90 second break in between each set. Now we got one more routine for a super set. Remember, like I said many times, in order to train the back effectively, you got to do vertical and horizontal pulling exercises. So the first two movements were both vertical pulling. Now we're going to get into some horizontal pulling, but it's going to be more skill-based. So we're going to be supersetting band-resisted push-ups. I got my purple band with me, 45 kgs up to 54 kgs of resistance. I'll probably be getting maybe 50, 60 pounds total resistance on my back from this. Then I'm going to superset with band assisted front lever hold. The front lever hold is going to be a horizontal pulling exercise, but it's going to be a straight arm movement too. To really, really focus on the lats, the width, and you're going to get a lot of thickness from practicing front lever, front lever rows, or any type of rowing variation. So, 6 to 15 on the pushes, max time hold on the front lever. Three rounds, let's go.
15 was tough. And again, you're only getting the resistance, the top portion of the rep. That's why I'm slowing down the negatives, really stretching the chest out, full lockout every rep, guys. Let's go, front lever hold. three seconds right there. Pulling muscle are gonna be fatigued. But that's why we're training at the end. Training is under fatigue. So once set done, I'm gonna rest now probably two minutes in between each set because these front levers are gonna take a lot out of me. Two minute break, two more rounds. Alright YouTube, that's a wrap for the full routine. Three total routines today, all chest and back supersets. Four rounds for first exercise, three rounds for the second, three rounds for the third. So 10 total sets for chest, 10 total sets for back, working sets that is. We hit warm up sets for everything. And you guys saw we started with just some handstand skill training. Yeah guys, it's a full upper body day, but predominantly we just focus on chest and back. Tomorrow I'll do all legs, Wednesday, when we get back to it, it's gonna be a shoulder focused, upper body session. We're really focused on building more strength in the handstand pushes, more volume overall with some isolation work. Then we'll get some back and chest with some minor reps in. So I hope you guys enjoy this routine. Told you, the routine now, we just got off the pull push legs. Now everything's superset. Opposite muscle groups, back to back, every session now. Again, just to increase the overall intensity of the session. Not trying to PR, not working for max. Weight here, again, really working on volume, lowering the break periods, keeping the heart rate up. Again, a great ex great type of routine. If you guys are on a cut and you guys can't work for max load, right? Remember, if you decrease energy state, meaning you're not eating as much as you're burning, you're not gonna have the strength that you need to work on lifting max loads. Save that for when you're surplus or eating around maintenance. Hope you guys enjoy this routine. Don't forget, like the video, helps the algorithm out. Share it with your friends and your family. Hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed yet. And like always, guys, if you have a question or comment, leave it in the comment section. I always get back to you. Peace out. Bar Naturals.